and welcome to the first episode of GoPro Wrestling's Talking Sauce, a game show where we try to see how long we can keep asking questions while ah. eating these crazy sauces. My first guest. So it's a game show. Oh, it's a game show. What do I win? Mm, uh, my respect, honestly, if we get to the end. That's all I really wanted in life. Anyway, but I'm so. with the goatest, Bob. Bobby Orlando and Bobby Jr. And he's back here, but he's not going to be eating it. Uh, he, he had a nice supper, yeah. uh, and he's all full. His tummy's all full. I don't think he can handle it. But I am, uh, I am very hungry. It's for humans, so, you know. Yes. So we're going to eat some uh, nuggets with hot sauce, so let's get started. All right. I am very scared, this for me, nervous, excited, all the emotions. First nugget. So, the thing about hot sauces is, I am not the biggest fan of spicy stuff, hot stuff, whatever, but I could put up with it. Oh, shoot. It's a little it's a little uh, moist. Put it's it over the sauce. napkin. We don't want to get anything dirty. And saucy. Well, uh-oh. So, we got the hot sauce on. This is, the first, this is like the least, the least deadly. Oh, it's the least deadly. My mouth is watering already for some reason. Right. You ready for this so one? We got to do the cheers. Cheers. Dink it. Sink it. Not too bad. So, Bobby. Hey, what is this? This is this is, like, this is a fool's this is nothing. It's an easy one. No, it's a very easy one. What are you expecting from this from these sauces today? Like that's literally not even bad at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, what I'm expecting. Yeah. Until we get to like the third to last is when I'll start like getting a little, mm, a little nervous. But I'm ready for the next one. Honestly, that was that was that was nothing. That was nothing. All right. Well, let's work our way into the second one. I want, now, I want to see how this goes. Now, I want to know the, the name of the flavors, too. So that was All right, one. so that first one was banana pepper. Which is, you know, yeah. banana pepper is like... You just throw it on a Subway sandwich. Like, who's what? No one cares. Yeah, Subway's what? Let's grab our second bit. All right. All right. <laughs> Sauce number two, the Anaheim pepper. Anaheim, you know, I've never been to you in California, uh, but I might like your hot sauce. We don't know yet. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Were you doing it at the Sink same it. time? Yeah. Sink it. Here yes, we go. that was a great catchphrase. Mm. I totally stole it from a YouTube show, so some of you will notice. Uh, you can put a little bit more on for the next one. Right, well, it's going to get more. So, my first question was about expectations for you. Yes. So, as a career pro student slash graduate at this point, right? Yeah. How do you feel about the expectations that are put on you by, like, the alumni that have come through the school? Oh, I mean, everyone wants, it's not like, when I, when people are, well, you're pressured, there's pressure. The only pressure is you really put the pressure on yourself, like you want to impress uh, your pupils that you respect and you want the respect back to you. I'm pretty sure, like, everyone at Creative Pro is a family anyway, so there's not really, like, we have to, like, like, what's the word, like, gain access to like oh you you're one of us now like, it, it, right when you sign up everyone's a family right off the bat so you just always want to impress your family and and do good you know you want to you want to like make good of the creative pro name For Even, sure. yes and the words i just said i don't know if they made sense no they did but they there is sense. there is a legacy that yeah exactly being from here so exactly so yes are you pointing at me all right yeah, whatever <laughs> All right, third sauce. Oh, right, yes. Let's grab your nug. We might run out of nuggets. No, no, I got 20, and there's 10, and there's two. Ooh, I did math. Ooh, I did math. math is good. All right. Keep a little bit more on, too. Green Serrano pepper. Now, that sounds a little intimidating. I don't even know what Serrano is, but I know Pedro Serrano from Major League. Apple, 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 apple. A little bit more. Apple, apple. Okay. All right, we're good. I've crumbled up my napkin for some reason. I'm not as like clean and... Uh, exquisite as you. I'm trying to uh, be a good host. Here we go. Once again. No, not too bad. I mean, I'm ready to skip to the last one. Oh, oh no, no, no. We, no. we work our way up. We work our way up. That's how we do it in life and in this video. We always gotta work our way up to the top. And I just smacked my hand into the <laughs> sauce. Speaking of working together. Ah, yes. How do you feel about how your the name of Shook Crew has gotten throughout the years. Like, you guys are, for sure, top three best trios in the entire country. No, How do you stop, feel about stop, 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 stop. No, I, this is my opinion. I I firmly believe it. How do you feel about that that type of legacy that I mean, already established? It's cool to hear people say that. It's a very nice compliment, so thank you, sir. No uh, when I say stop, 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 it's not like I actually mean stop, stop, stop. Like, well, I'll, I'll take all the compliments in the world. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're trying to be humble. Uh, and I am humble, I feel like. But, 
Yeah, we. I am happy with the progression. Like, I think we were just looking. We have like our own shit crew group chat. We were just like sending old videos of us from like two, three years ago, and it's like when you look at those, that's when you really take into perspective. Like, damn, we've evolved a lot and grown. Yeah. And not just like as people, but as like a tag team. Like, damn. And it's just cool to see how things are going now. Like, obviously, Max is, like, with AEW now, which is, like, the coolest thing in the world. For sure. Um, and me and Bryce are still, like, working hard on the Indies. And, like, as much as we can now with the pandemic and everything like that. Uh, don't worry, people. We're being safe here. Um, but, yeah, I'm very happy with just to see how, like, Shook Crew's grown. So. Is, it, is it, like, different when you tag with each of them? Like, is there a different dynamic with each of them? Oh, for sure. I mean, it, it, we've done every single variation possible. We've done uh, me and Bryce, Bryce and Max, Max and me, like, and Bobby Jr. and me. I mean, uh, yeah, we're not a trio. We're a quadruple. That's true. But nonetheless, uh, trio for the human's sake. Uh, yeah, there's a different dynamic, but I think that's good. Like, we all wrestle the same and we're the same type of people. Like, it would just be kind of like, oh, you, you would kind of, like, just notice, through, like, just one big tag team, but since we all have diverse personalities and diverse wrestling styles, that's what makes us so cool and unique. So, yeah. For sure. All right. Number four. Number four. I don't know about you. I'm starting to taste the spice. Nah, this is, this is, can I curse? Oh, <laughs> uh, you can absolutely This is curse. bitch status, yo. I ain't no bitch. Cayenne pepper is number four. As I burp. Cayenne pepper. Oh, you got no napkin. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm going to eat it quickly just so I don't drip anymore. I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna, here's the tactic. I'm going to flip it over so the hot sauce hits my tongue first. Mm. <sighs> Yo, can I be honest? Uh, this sauce is delicious. <laughs> yeah, this is like... I can put it on anything. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about this sauce? <laughs> this this is not bad at all, yo. I could have literally drank that out of the bottle. Delicious. Let's get on with the question and get to the next one. So, question... What's a dream, since I, I like to refer to you guys as a trio, is there a dream trios match that you would love to go against? Shook Crew versus the Baja Men. That's a huge trio match. That'd be insane. I'm going to leave it at that. Baja Men, we've reached out to you on Twitter. You've replied to us in some weird, stupid comment. Like, they tried making a joke and it wasn't funny. And then we replied back and there's no response. So, the, I mean, they know we exist. We obviously know they exist because they're one-hit wonder. Ooh, shots fired. Yeah, Just kidding. Shot. Shot. But nonetheless, Baja, man. We're still waiting. Goats versus dogs? That'd be, that'd be a match. Yeah, who let the dogs out? <laughs> more, more like who let the losers out. Oh, that's shots. so funny. That face I just made was Where probably cringe. Five? Ooh. This is the fifth one. Fifth. Math is smart. Math is... <laughs> that word. Aged red Tabasco pepper. It's just Tabasco sauce. That's a mouthful. Good enough. Nah, it's fine. I mean, honestly, like, it's just going to go right... Oh, I'm tripping it. Oh, I'm tripping it. Okay. 50,000 Scoville. Just to give you guys a heads up, there's going to be some crazy numbers coming through. That was, like... That wasn't horrible, but now I'm starting to feel like, okay, it's going to get worse and worse from here. <laughs> like, I know I was talking mad shit before. But that was the first this is one. when the game starts talking shit back. That was the first one where I was like, okay, we're going to, here yeah, we go. it's going to get rough. Yes. How do you feel about your future as a singles wrestler, not just on the tag team side? Um, I love singles uh, wrestling as much as I love tag wrestling. So I don't really have a preference. But moving forward, obviously, uh, you know, it's hard because when you have someone in your corner, whether it be Max or Bryce or even both of them, you kind of have, like, more confidence when you're wrestling. But when you're just there by yourself, not saying I'm not a confident person. Like, I'm the goddess of all time, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a really confident person. Sure. But, you know, you don't have that, you know, you don't have, you don't have them in the back yeah. pocket. So, singles wrestling is way different than tag wrestling. But I feel like if I were to just be a full-time singles guy, I feel like I could handle it. And I, I, I know I said I didn't prefer it earlier, but I do prefer, like, sometimes having that singles match, you know? It's more, uh, it's more challenging, and everyone likes a challenge. Do you so. feel like singles is more of a challenge because you're there on the stage by yourself and you have to stick for yourself? I mean, I love being in the spotlight. I love being in the spotlight, sure. you know what I'm saying? So, like, bring it on. But it's always cool to share those moments, though, uh, with your tag partners. For sure. That was one of those times where I just started rambling, and I feel like everything I just said had no meaning. Rambling was fantastic, and you said a lot of good stuff in there. Hopefully, hopefully that came across cool. So we're at number six. Yes. We're, we're at uh, 6 out of 10. We're almost there. We're almost done, baby. 
I'm starting to burp and shit. Hot sauce in here so much. All right, it's number does six. It, does it smell bad it in here? It smells like hot sauce. <laughs> Jamaican yellow scotch bonnet pepper. I love Jamaica. A lot, a lot I've of never words. been, but I've always wanted to. All right, Scoville on this one is two hundred and fifty thousand. Put a lot on there. Put a lot. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Sorry. We're gonna taste this in our pours later. Again, delicious. Hot take. That wasn't as bad as the last one. Delicious. That really wasn't that bad. No. It honestly tasted fantastic. So, again, on the subject of tag team wrestling, how do you feel having learned from, I, I consider him a really good tag team wrestler, Kurt Hawkins slash Brian Myers. How do you feel having learned tag team wrestling from him? I mean, when you come to Creative Pro, you learn, like, everything, whether it be singles, tag, um... They were even training referees and shit here, and this cursed. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like I, I've said it so many times in like so many podcasts. Like, and I know I'm biased, but like if you come to Creative Pro, you literally are getting like the it's it's the amount of knowledge here between Brian Myers and like Pat Buck and even some of the senior guys like Max Caster teaches. And we have VSK and Alex Reynolds. It's insane the amount of knowledge that you'll get if you come here. Um, so I could just like talk about it all day, but yeah, like. Brian's like a tag guru. Is that the right word? Like a tag master, would you say? That sounds right. Because obviously he's done with him and. Um, he's got a mania moment in his belt. Yeah, right Matt now. Cardona, him. Like I've gone way back with tag team wrestling. So, you know, like it's always like cool to like learn from someone who's actually done that for a long period of time. Because like if you, if you were to learn from like just like a singles guy, like it would have been cool. But now yeah. to have an actual tag team specialist teach you about tag wrestling is always sure. like, a beneficial thing. 100%. All right, number seven. Oh boy, here we go. Look at it. All right, seven is like the last of like the safe sauces. Do so, so we've been safe so far. So. We have been safe. Yeah, number right. five was not that. Uh... This one is the blood red Persian habanero pepper. Ooh, fancy. The fact that blood's involved in the title. Makes yeah, blood is never a good sign. I never want to see blood on any title. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Okay, let's okay. start. Yeah, this one's starting to suck. <laughs> that didn't even like taste spicy, it just tasted bad. <laughs> yeah. Tasted like I freaking ate vomit out of like the freaking trash can. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they put blood in my sauce. <laughs> if it's real blood, then we have a problem. Uh, I mean, you never know what's Amazon, so. No, you got this from Amazon. Amazon. I get my gear from Amazon, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what are your uh, biggest, like, Life goals, not just wrestling, but overall in your whole life. I want, well, this isn't a life goal, but I tweeted this out a couple months ago. I, as crazy may sound, I want to, uh, tr at least for a year, try and live in a van. And as creepy as that may sound, I want to renovate it. I want to make it look nice and cool, like you don't have like a bed in there. And just travel the country, maybe other countries. Uh, I know it, it can't swim, but to whatever countries that could, you know physically have a car go Except over my it van. yeah yeah and live in a van uh and it might probably it'll be a lot easier for commuting and like independent independent wrestling and stuff like that like don't have to pay for a hotel and stuff like that um but i just love traveling like i've never been like the type of guy who like like wanted to like see the world and i am not still that guy anyways but like ever since traveling Ooh, for wrestling guys. what we don't want to go near the oh no 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 no, no i'm just readjusting my glasses Ooh, careful. but um re like <laughs> Traveling for wrestling, it's kind of, like, cool because you can just, like, see different places. But there's times where you're like, oh, damn, I kind of want to, like, chill and, like, explore. But, like, oh, I got to get to the next town. So you don't really have that time. Yeah. So I've always thought it'd be cool to own a van and just live in it. As Some people may be looking at me and be like, yo, are you crazy? But I don't know. It's like a as long weird... as it's not a white van, that's when it gets real, like, creepy vibes. Now we're trying to be not... We, uh, maybe, put a goat. Put a goat I'll just on put my side. face on the side of it, and then it's like, oh, that's... Uh, who could think that's suspicious? You know, exactly. who could think that's creepy? Show crew label, Bobby Jr. on it. Like, we're good. There you go. Maybe, like, a goat tail on the back. All right, we're at eight now. Eight. All right. So this is the part where I was not looking forward to. Um, I mean... We're at the... I don't even know what word that is. These words sound terrible, but it's ghost pepper. So... You know, I, I told him before we started shooting, the last couple of hot sauces have, like, death involved, like yep. Ghost and Reaper and stuff. That's never a good sign. Anything with Ghost. Nah, put more on, put more on, put more on. Real challenge? Real challenge. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right, let's keep going. <laughs> Ask the question. Oh! oh my God. Ask the question. <laughs> What's the biggest obstacles in in pro wrestling today? Is the biggest obstacle I've ever dealt with is eating hot sauce. I mean, <laughs> that biggest obstacle. Um, it's just the mental. <laughs> 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 It's just the mental struggle, you know? You gotta really have a good... Um, I can't even think. Really just happens. have it... T- you have to be, you have to be uh, thick-skinned, which is fun. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> go! Go, go, go. Okay. My tongue hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink until we're done. Good. We're gonna get to I it. may never drink again, honestly. Right. It's really hard to talk or breathe right now. Uh, scorpion pepper. Ah! God damn. <laughs> that hit me hard. My nose is, uh... What come on, faucet? Ah! Oh, Bobby. Go, go away, Bobby Jr. <laughs> that was a question. That one actually wasn't as bad as the last one. So, through quarantine, I've noticed you lost a lot of weight. Oh, thank how much, you. How much? I'm probably like a fat slob right now, but whatever. How much work have you put in throughout quarantine to make yourself better in wrestling and in life? I started running a lot. <clears throat> uh, running is very zen. I don't know. Ow, God. I just wiped my nose with the, the hot. Know. Everything's dangerous. I started running a lot. And drinking only water and like I, I quit energy drinks and started just um, drinking like polar seltzer and stuff like that. I still got a long ways to go, but that was a good start. What is your ultimate goal in like body wise? Uh, just to improve my performance in the ring. All right, we gotta go to the last one. <laughs> so, number ten, as my tongue uh, really swells really bad. Carolina Reaper, <laughs> two point one million Scoville. Oh, Bobby, put a lot on. This is uh, our on. our last put dab. Put a lot on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This is uh, the last dab for uh, us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bobby, as we get to the end of our journey of these ten hot sauces, holy shit! <laughs> what is? What is a place you'd like to get to by the end of 2021, since we're just not going to count this year? Ugh, fuck. Hold on. Say it again. What is your goal for 2021, by the end of 2021, since we're just giving this year a mulligan? Oh, God. I can't even think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. We're allowed to drink now. We made No, I don't want to drink. No drink. <laughs> we're not going to throw up. I know. I'm just coughing. Um, I want to get... Just better overall. That's all I can say. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> since Bobby can't huh. talk at this point, my tongue hurts. Thank huh. you for joining us for the first episode of Talking Sauce. <coughs> I hope I make it to episode two. See you later. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit! Thank you. Oh my god!